Good morning everyone, it's Lynn from Lot 95 Designs today and doing another Technique Thursday video. Welcome everybody. I just want to say a special hi to Noella who every Thursday has lunch with me via YouTube. She watches my video while she has lunch so I want to say a special hi and what kind of yummy goodness are you eating? You have to let me know what you're having for lunch. So today I wanted to do a really quick little technique. Um, this one's for Shailene. She wanted to um, know how you do this credit card acrylic paint technique. And it's super, super easy and super fun. So I've already done this side of the page. So I'm just going to flip this over. And basically all you do is take a little bit of paint, put it on a credit card, or you could put it on your paper. And you see, you just put a little bit on there and then just mush. Easy peasy. Right? If you have a little extra, you can just take it off, put it on another page. So we did a little bit of purple. Let's do a little bit of pink on here. Oh, that's a lot of pink. I'm going to take some of that off. I'll just put that there for now. And just spread. You just spread and mush and go and kind of makes a cool marbled effect I think. So there's some pink, some purple, maybe a little bit of yellow. Maybe Lynn should put it on the card because Lynn gets a little too crazy with the paint on the page. Look at us go. So a little bit of yellow and that's it. So you can grab whatever paint you have in your stash and just do your page. So it just comes out really marbled looking. So then let's give that a dry. Where's the hand dryer? It's been quite a day here. My poor pup um, has an injury. So I've been downstairs for two days with him working from my kitchen table and uh, Got a lot going on. I even started the new new journal. The new one is being released this week. Well, actually, by the time you see this video, it would have been released on Monday. And um, I've already started working on October, so I've got a head start on that one. The things you can get done when you're stuck in one little space for two days. So that's all dry now. And so we can carry on and maybe do some other fun stuff. Let's grab some stays on. Some black stays on. We'll do a little bit of stamping maybe. I'm really not sure what I'm doing with this page yet. Put my credit card away. These are my new favorite stamps. They're the Dilution stamps and they're called In Betweenies. I will leave a link for this in the comment section um, under the YouTube video on YouTube or it's always on my blog as well. And there will be pictures that you can just click on. So what I picked out were these hearts because I thought they were really pretty. And um, I've only used them once, so I wanted to use them again. So we'll just put the stamp down. I made a nice clean uh, desk today. I put on a new sheet so it didn't look quite as messy as it's been. And um, I'm hoping to spend all day up in the studio shooting videos and creating today. So getting ready for the new journal. And how exciting is this? We did a 500 member freebie in our Praise and Pray journaling group on Facebook. Then we did a 600 member giveaway a week later. And today I need two members and we're gonna reach 700 and I have another freebie. I tell you we're having fun in our group. Ooh, that's kind of cute, hey? Look at those little hearts. Isn't that fun? So that's, I like that. So we'll put that away. I took out a few elements. These were from the uh, Polka Dot $2 Tuesday sale. Every Tuesday we have um, a little $2 item that you can grab in Etsy. Put that there. We've got a little piece maybe. That's gonna be a cute little page. And then I always do my journaling on my computer, so I have this here. And it says, today's reading in the journal, this is the Let Go and Let God journal. 
I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding, from Jeremiah 3.15. So the question for today in the devotional is, how can we open our heart to receive these? And my journaling says, I can open my heart, close off my mind, and just be still. I need to learn to listen, not talk. I need to learn to receive. I am great at talking. I'm not so good at listening. And I think God wants me to be quiet, open my heart, close off all those thoughts that are going on in my head, and just relax a bit. And then I can hear him. I can hear him speak to me when I'm quiet. When I'm uh, creating the journals, I always pray on them to see what I should do. And then I believe that God inspires them. He leads me to what I need and to the readings I need to use. And it's a, it's a process. I usually do all the scriptures first and um, meditate on those. So it's, uh, it's a process. I love to create the journals, but I also love to work in them. And I'm excited for the new journal. So let's get all these cut up. I just cut them into strips and I'll put them on there. I'm just going to glue them all down because I'm sure you do not want to hear me yap in the whole time. So get out my yes paste. And I'm going to glue these down. And then we'll come back and maybe do some stamping and some other fun stuff. Be right back. We're back. Everything's glued down and dried. I hope it's dry. So I just take my little black Bic Velocity pen here and I just outline my little words or my sentences, I should say. So how is everybody's day? Here it is cold. It is raining. It is really yucky, but I'm hoping it is going to be nice tomorrow. It's been very cool here. My husband's off kayaking and I'm just laughing because he's in a river right now. That's kind of funny, right? Um, I shouldn't laugh at him. No, we shouldn't. Okay, so I'm just going to grab these again. And I love this little wiggly squiggly border to me. It just looks like stitches, so I'm going to grab that and just make a few just putting the stamp to the pad and just going to make some little stitch marks on the uh, hearts and maybe in a few other places just to give the uh, page a little more zing don't we love that word zing we love zinging Okay. Ah, oh, we're doing good. Okay. That is fine and dandy. I'm going to just outline my little uh, arrow here. Get that done. I hear my son just came home. He's got bronchitis, so he's not feeling so hot. Uh, now, my new, my new latest thing. I've always got a new latest thing like polka dots or something. This is called Mini the Story. And just fun little blobs and, and polka dots and numbers and arrows and really just fun. So I'm just going to grab some white paint, put that in the little tray, get that going, get my little sponge, because we love the sponge, just, just a little bit of paint. And just going to make some, uh... oh that's cute. I always surprise myself, I go, oh that's really cute. Like I didn't expect it to be cute, but it is cute. So put some up here, because we love little doodads. And uh, okay, buddy, that atrocious noise is my poor little puppy scratching his comb that he has to wear. I hope he gets it off tomorrow. He's going back to the vet for a little checkup. So. All right, so that's pretty much our page. All I'm going to do now is just find a word on the word sheet here from the pack, from the Let Go and Let God journal, and pop it up there. And I'm not sure which one we want. And I'm going to make you stay here until I find out. 
Oh, maybe. Trust. So, I'm just gonna go over here, cut it out, pop it on my page. I printed this on clear sticker paper. So that is kind of fun. Put that over there. I give it a little bend because then sometimes it's easier to get the uh, backing off. So I'm just gonna put that on the little tag and ta-da, our page is done. So Noella, I hope you finished lunch. This was a little quick one today and uh, I know a lot of people use this technique and it's fun and I found out about it when I started doing my journals. I'm like, that is so cool. So I hope you all have a fabulous day. I will see you next week on Technique Thursday or come visit us in Praise and Pray Journaling. We're gonna have a lot of fun as soon as we hit those 700 members. Come by for the freebies, come by to say hi. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.